Hello everybody and welcome back to Gold Rush the Game. So let's continue today. We're going to be working on Tier 2, which is obviously much more advanced than uh, Tier 1. Tier 1 is basically just to drop us in lightly. Um, I don't think it was too challenging really. Uh, the biggest thing about Tier 1 is it's uh, quite time consuming. It does take a, a large amount of time just to be able to produce the smallest amount of gold. Um, but if you were doing that yourself in your own time, then that would be great fun. But as we've got to keep these videos fairly fresh and moving at a fairly decent pace, we're going to just basically move away from Tier 1 completely and move on to Tier 2. Uh, but we probably will return to Tier 1 again, you know, when we're doing just the, the hand shovel, that kind of stuff. Um, so, yeah, let's go to the warehouse first of all, which is just here. And what we're going to do is buy some brand new stuff. Now, you would usually have to uh, mine the gold be able to pay for all this stuff and actually we're gonna to have to pay for quite a bit of stuff here so it's a good job we do have a bit of money anyway let me turn the engine off and we'll uh, jump out and if we just run inside I'm gonna open up the, the tier 2 menu so here we go go on to the journal and you can see if I just flick the page over first things first we need to go to the warehouse that's done number two we need to buy a mobile wash plant a water pump a small one mobile generator cables and hoses three buckets and a magnetite separator we do actually have a bucket already but since it's possibly not going to be in the same place um, it might be worth just getting three even though I think they're about twenty dollars each so they are pretty expensive for what they are sixty dollars just for three buckets anyway that is sort of besides the point because uh, that is nothing compared to number four, which is to buy a small excavator, which is going to be quite expensive. Number five is to hook up uh, the mobile wash plant to the pickup. So obviously we already have the pickup, but the mobile wash plant is going to be, I would have thought, quite expensive. Anyway, to save flicking to and from that menu, I've actually printed off the tier two uh, requirements. So it's just going to be much better viewing. I can just refer to it here in front of me and yeah it won't be a, a pain flicking up the other screen so the mobile wash plant first of all try and locate the uh, the correct one that's the magnetite trailer that's going to be required in uh, the next episode this one here so it's thirteen thousand five hundred dollars quite expensive uh, we have two trailer slots but we only need one thankfully at this stage anyway next we need to get the uh, the small water pump Right, okay, so I don't actually know what these things are going to look like necessarily. Um, you know, a small water pump to me is something which would fit on a shelf. So I'm assuming it is going to be somewhere around here. These are the hoses. We do need to get some hoses, but I think... Aha! There, that would do nicely. So we'll buy that. Good, that's two things done. Mobile generator, that's here. We need one of those as well. Cables and hoses doesn't actually specify what sizes, so uh, I suppose this is going to be to test our own ability of intelligence. Yeah, I, I don't think there is much to choose from here. It's definitely not a hydraulic hose, so we can write that off. That is a water hose, thin, and water hose fat. Um, I would actually say that it's going to be both of these. We can certainly get both. There we go. Um, power rope. I don't think we need these. I don't think we do. We could always come back for them later if they are required. It does actually just say cables, hoses. and that's It's actually called a rope, even though I, I would actually call that a cable. But still, not to worry. We'll likely be coming back to that. Uh, let me just actually, before you move away, yeah, you can see... It is uh, that kind of fitting, so maybe it's going to be worth getting it just for the sake of it. Right, okay, next, three buckets. <laughs> the three buckets which we possibly don't even require. We may only need to get two. Uh, we've been here before, just yesterday, but I have forgotten where the buckets are. There are the buckets. Right, brilliant. So $60 for those. Um... And finally, the magnetite separator. So we do require that as well. That's just here. Ah, magnetite trailer. Interesting. 
Well, you would have thought... Aha. Uh -huh. Right. Good job I checked. And I would say that is everything we need for now. Oh, actually, if we've just gone here, I believe there are actually pictures. There are. There are pictures of each thing, so you can't really get too confused. It's actually showing two hoses or cables. I've bought three. So hopefully we do have what we require. Of course, we could require the thin one too. Um, actually, as we, they're not too expensive. It probably is just if... We, oh, it won't even let us buy. That's good. It can't be the right thing then. Perfect. So we have, obviously... A number of things here. Um, eight things. It's making it look like there's more, but there isn't. So, total cost is $15,180. So, we'll purchase those. Next, we need to go to the heavy equipment store. So, we can move away from here once we have loaded everything up. Um, and yeah, we need to get the small excavator, which I'm actually really looking forward to buying. I think most people will be looking forward to having some bigger equipment as well. Um, but yes, first, let me just uh, jump into here. I'm going to have to put the, uh, the tailgate down. I'm getting in the swing of putting the handbrake on now as well, which is good. Right. That in first. I don't know how much space there is actually going to be, but I'm hoping we can actually drop everything into there. I suppose this is one of the issues with carrying too much. Um, as many people mentioned in yesterday's video, it is possible to put certain things inside the buckets. I don't think any of these things are going to fit though, it's more the matting for catching the gold pieces. Ah, oh, you fell out. Well, I suppose we could also do a second load. We don't have to put it all into here. Now, not only are we going to be buying the small excavator, but we're going to be looking into actually purchasing the land where we're going to be doing the mining instead of renting it. Um, so, yeah, I mean, there's going to be quite a bit off screen here. Just while I'm figuring a few things out, because it is the first time I've ever played the game properly. Uh, yesterday was the first time with the full release and before that I played the demo in June and that is definitely full so oh it's even that is in the way <laughs> oh great come on get in get in everything in the back good right there we go hopefully it doesn't fall out it probably will do so we'll just have to hope for the best Off we go to the bank. Now it doesn't actually say to go to the bank at this stage, but I don't think the game is really expecting us to be so advanced with the money. Let's get the handbrake on. Jump out. Everything's going to be done seriously from now on, though. It's not going to be cheated in any way. This was just so we could actually get onto tier two. Uh, right. Okay. So we can, if we want to, buy an area. Um, now I'm actually quite fond of the first one, Old Arnold Parcel, but the other two, they do seem quite tempting as well, especially Pine Valley, but I think we really must start with the, I think it's the smallest, uh, let me just see, 10,000 area, oh no, it might actually be the same, it's just there is, yeah, there's a different price for everything, and there does seem to be a different amount of expected gold. So, yep, we'll go for this one. It is rented, um, but we'll now buy it. So there we go. We are proud owners of an area where we can get gold from. So as we know the way, let's just drive over there. We'll drop stuff off, and hopefully we'll be able to come back and uh, pick up the rest. Well, obviously we'll be able to come back and pick up the rest, unless somebody has very kindly pinched it from us, but they won't have done because it's not that kind of game. It's all about the gold, which is nice. Right, okay, so down here. It's actually a bit smoother today as well. Except for the driving, of course, that's a bit rougher. I have to say, though, things are staying in the back very well. 
which is nice to see because I really did not want to be losing everything. Uh, can you imagine having to pick everything up continually? That would just be a pain. And it is going to keep loading stuff, so it may just, you know, it, it could just every now and then freeze and, um, yeah, just say loading. Like there. The digger icon appears and starts digging stuff up. Here we are. And one thing which is really on our side is the fact that it's going to be coming light very soon. It is 30 minutes past 5 in the morning. So we should be able to do, hopefully, the morning of mining, or setting up at least, in some fairly decent weather. I don't know actually how much we're going to be able to do in this episode because setting up is quite a, a large part of this game. Um, so it may be that we just set up in this episode and then in the next episode we actually start doing the mining and stuff. We start digging the ground for the pay dirt. Okay, so that's those parts drops off. Let's head back and get the rest of them. Now we do actually have to remove the handbrake first. We need to hook up the, uh, the mobile wash plant to the pickup, but it does actually imply that we should be buying the excavator first. So that is what we will do. I'm not going to argue with that because I think that's going to be a much more interesting approach anyway. Um, definitely want to be buying the machinery first rather than figuring out exactly how to tow stuff around. But I wouldn't have thought it would be too difficult. I should think we would just have to simply reverse up to it and it would tell us how to fit it on. Most likely we just press the use key. Uh, I do vaguely remember doing this actually in the demo so yeah, it, it wasn't too hard. The hardest thing was aligning the pickup with the trailer. I seem to remember it was very strict. You did have to be pretty much perfect, perfectly aligned, otherwise it wouldn't work, which is fair enough. Obviously in real life you wouldn't be able to just hitch onto a trailer if it was nowhere near. So it's good that they are sticking with that approach. I would guess that it's at the end of here. I think that is the building. Yep, there we go. So let's just take a look in here. Ah, oh, there it is. Oh, I can't really see the reason why we couldn't just take it now then. That doesn't really make any sense. I suppose it's just to make it easier to unload stuff. Uh, but yeah, first things first. Let's get the... what's left? It's a magnetite separator, I think. Let's get that into here if we can do. Must be quite heavy. Okay, uh, <laughs> not exactly put in there very well. There we go, that's better. Anything left? Yes, there is one bucket, which means we actually have four buckets down there now. Oh well. The more buckets, the better. Shut that up. Jump into here. And which way is it taking it? I think it's taking it from the roadside, actually. There we go. It really should do... I don't think we have to do it in order. Really should work. Brilliant. Perfect. Right. Off we go. We're towing a trailer. I've lost the bucket. Oh well. That's why we have four. We're going to have to drive really carefully. It likes to sway about quite a bit. I'm sort of worrying it's going to be tipping over, so very slow. I would say we shouldn't be going over 20 miles per hour. 25 maybe. Nice and steady. But I would say that anything you put in the back is pretty much locked in, with the exception of buckets, of course, because um, they don't actually seem to shift at all. Maybe the bucket wasn't actually properly in. It could get rough through here. Have to take extra caution. Also, it's quite heavy. You can really feel the pickup struggling. Anyway, it's nice to note that we do actually own the place, not just renting it off somebody else. Uh, which I'm assuming. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh wow. That definitely hit a pothole. 
Uh, yes, I'm assuming that um, it doesn't actually matter whether it's rented or bought outright as to whether or not you can keep any of the gold because uh, we just sold the last load anyway. So I think it must be the case that even if you're renting it, anything you find is yours, which sounds like a pretty good deal, really. You could make a fortune. Right, so for, just for the time being, before I actually figure out exactly where these things need to go properly, this can be parked here. Put the handbrake on. Drop it off. We'll pull forwards and we'll take the magnetite separator out of the back. Uh, we also need to get some fuel as well. Now there was a fuel tanker, like a trailer, but obviously that needs to be filled up and currently I'm not entirely sure where the fuel station is. Let me just see. Ah, gas station. Just there. Right, so that should be fairly simple then. But it does mean buying the fuel trailer. I suppose you can actually just get like a jerry can, that kind of thing. But if we can actually get it in a trailer, maybe the diesel, then uh, that would be more useful. Yeah, just thinking about it, those small engines back there, they'll be petrol. So... Yeah, if we can just get some kind of fuel tank, fuel can, jerry can kind of thing, that would be uh, better for the petrol. And then we'll tow the diesel. Right, so, you know where we're off to now? Somewhere I haven't actually discovered yet, but it is the heavy equipment store. We can go and browse the machinery. Now we do have the machine park just here. Um, I don't know if this is the place we're looking for cash only doesn't look like the place in the pictures so I would say this is where we can store the machinery later um, it is actually specifically calling it the heavy equipment store and as mentioned I haven't actually seen that at all on the map so we may just have to do a bit of research first of all but let's just jump out here and we'll see what everybody has got to say handbrake stay put vehicle Anybody about? Not too sure. It would appear not. But that is some decent machinery. Oh, this is... Yeah, alright. Okay, this is where we do buy the stuff from. Caught me by surprise. Anyway, this is the small excavator. $28,000. I'm assuming it's used. It's a bit dirty. Let's buy it. So, we now need to go and pay for it. Um, you'd have thought there'd be someone here. Don't you want to take my money? Ah, the checkout. Order. What? We can't even drive it straight away? We have to order it? I don't think so. Let's hop in. I've already bought it. Let me drive my machine. Please! We must drive my machine. Take a look at this in the shipping container. The big power generator, $69,500. That is some pricey stuff. In fact, everything here is pretty expensive. Big fuel tank, $14,800. Uh, this is available soon. Why can't it be available now? I wanted to see it. Uh, the trowel, not heard of that, but $21,100. Um, the duplex jig, 22,300. S rocks sluice box. S boulders sluice box. So, yeah, loads of stuff available here. We have paid for it, um, but I think we may just have to be waiting because it's on order. We probably have to transport it, actually. Um, small excavator, yeah. So, from the storage place to where we're going to, Old Arnold Parcel. Confirm uh, if we can just uh, do that. $1,500, I suppose it would be actually, even though it's not very far. Specialist machinery. So, if we now get in, we should be able to go back to where we were before, and it should have been delivered. Now I understand why step five was to tow the wash plant, because it means that we wouldn't have to keep going backwards and forwards so often. It all makes perfect sense. I think, yeah, a note to myself. Just do stuff in the order it says. There is a reason for it. Anyway, 
Let's go over there and we'll examine our brand new machine. Now I think the best thing for us to do is to set things up in a fairly logical way. This means that we should take the mobile wash plant over to an area where there's quite a bit of pay dirt because otherwise you can't actually load up the dirt properly. You'd have to keep driving with the excavator each bucket load to where the wash plant is. So it needs to be very, very local to where the excavator is going to be uh, working. We then need to put a bucket, one of those plastic buckets, um, on the mobile wash plant just so that we can actually catch um, the refined pieces. Let me just turn the engine off here. Um, get out. And then what we need to do is use the excavator, load the dirt into the wash plant, then move the refined dirt from the bucket into the magnetite separator, which will then have two more buckets, and it will be then taking the gold and the dirt into separate places. So it's all quite a slick operation. Um, I don't know if we can drive this just yet. We don't really need to, but I can't really resist. This is the problem, you see. I don't use a joystick, and that is the one thing which is going to let me down when it comes to this game. But not to worry, we can still have a go. Ideally, we want to go into operator mode first. So, yeah, bucket up is G, bucket down is T. Basically, there we want to go and just put the arm up properly first and fold a few things. Um, I think as well, we should just do that a bit. That should be pretty much ready to transport. I keep pressing, pressing tab, it's actually shift we should be pressing. Anyway, off we go. We're going to position this over there in the opening. You can see there's already quite a bit of dirt about. That's where it's all going to be. Uh, that is also where the mobile wash plant is going to be. So, I think really, when this is all set up for the next episode, we're going to be getting quite a lot of gold in. Uh, there's going to be an awful lot of dirt compared to the amount of gold, so the ratio is going to be just a ridiculous figure, something we'll never know. Um, but still, the amount of gold we do get will still be worth a fortune. Trundling in our excavator. Yep. Never been the fastest of things. Good job we have the pickup to move stuff about faster. Can you imagine moving everything in the excavator? <laughs> I don't think we'd want to do that. Uh, anyway, I think, you know, this kind of area is going to be the best place for us. We need to have a big enough area as well to park all the washing equipment because the, the separator, the magnetite separator needs to be pretty much next to the mobile wash plant. In fact, we've done this before in the demo, so it is fairly self-explanatory for anybody who's already watched it. I've just noticed only one of the tracks is leaving a mark. That is weird. Oh well, not to worry. It isn't really a concern of mine. Anyway, let's jump out. We'll run back over to the pickup, hitch back onto the wash plant, bring it over as well, and I think before we do bring it over we need to actually uh, bring a number of the things we've already taken out. So I'll do it off screen, just so it isn't painful to see. Um, but yeah, it's going to be a long cable. We're going to need some very long cables and hoses. So uh, jump in here. And let's get it loaded up. All hitched on and ready to go. Hoping it's not too steep down here. Last thing we wanted is to tip everything over. But no, that should be good. Right, okay. I'm going to position it here. drop it off in its final resting point, we'll pull forwards and we'll attach everything to these generators and pumps because I don't really want to be doing that in the next episode. In the next episode we really must be getting to work, doing the mining. Oh, not again. Good. Okay, the generator. That can go there. The pump, uh, actually that doesn't want to be here, just thinking about it. Neither does that, uh, but that does. 
That wants to be on there. And somewhere on here. There we go. Ah! Hurt! You foolish thing. Right. That's one done. Uh, next we're going to have to obviously have some uh, water running to here. But that also wants to have a bucket, so where is your bucket storage point? There we go. Good. Here is the magnetite separator with the other buckets. I've just decided actually that this does want to be here. It's going to be better off because otherwise we're going to be running a very long hose. In fact, two very long hoses, whereas we could just do one. So I'm going to have to go and get them next time, but that's fine. Put those there. Separator can go anywhere in this area. Doesn't have to be too close. The two buckets go with it. Come on. There we go. That bucket goes there. So dirt and gold. The gold bucket is the only one we're interested in, as you'll know. Um, that just needs fuel. That's all done. So yeah, I think really, next time, what we're going to do is run the small hose and the big hose to this generator. One goes to the uh, the washer, or yeah, I think it goes to the washer or the separator, I'm not sure which one. The separator, yep. And the other hose goes all the way over to the river. So it is a pretty long hose, but that doesn't really matter. That has, I would say, got everything it requires. Yeah. Um, although it may need to have another hose as well. Yeah, I think it does. So you run one hose to there, one hose to there. Big hose coming from the uh, the river and it can pump it through. Anyway, we're going to leave it there. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed the video. And next time, we should be able to start mining some gold, some pay dirt, with our very, well, very large, small excavator here. It does look very big. Anyway, see you again soon. Bye for now.